If you want a great 30 minute workout in which we are going to hone in on how consistent you can be, this is the one for you. Come and join me in today's Rovember week three workout. If you don't know what Rovember is, make sure you go to the description below, click that link, sign up for free, a workout every single day for the month of November in your inbox. It's the challenge, can you row every day for the month of November? Doesn't matter what machine you have, go ahead and grab your handle, sit ready at the catch. We're gonna get this workout started with a little warm up here in three, two, one, and go. So just a nice casual movement here. Just try to match me. Nothing real hot and heavy here. The name of the game today is consistency and I just wanna note that that goes for Rovember. Can you be consistent in row every single month, every single day for the month? Now it is week three, but that doesn't mean you can't start now. So for the rest of the month, will you row with me? I will send you and email you a workout in your inbox every single day so that you can have some fun for the remainder of the month, especially in this time when we've got Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, parties to go to, bad food, it's tough to stay on our nutrition or our fitness plan because we're traveling, we're partying, it's all tough. I get it, so the goal is to make it as easy as possible for you. Come join me for November, our fourth annual. The goal is to get 14,000 people signing up this year. All right, now do me a favor. We're just gonna bring up the effort a little bit here for five strokes, that's one, two, Three, four, five, and back off. So what are we doing today? Well, it's one minute on, one minute off, 15 rounds, oof, 15 rounds. Each round, stroke rate, 26. And the goal, can you have the exact same split, the exact same meters on every single round? I don't think I'm gonna be able to but that's the challenge, as close as we can. So I'm gonna set a 26 and we're gonna go. And then there's a little surprise at the very end. So we're getting ready to go here in five, three, two, one, let's go, 26. Wow, landed right on it, that was lucky. Now the important part here is understanding that you've gotta be able to hold whatever we're doing for every round. So don't blast out of the gates, because you gotta maintain it. Let alone a 26 for me here. <laughs> gotta get warm. The warmer I get, the better the stroke rate holding becomes. Oh, 149.1, I'm already off, I'm already off. My goal, 149.0 out of 26. Yes, please, record my workout, Apple Watch, thank you. So, nice easy cruise. Now, might I suggest that on these cruise minutes, you don't stop. It's very easy to stop, but what happens is that every time you restart the system. You almost have to re-warm up the engine. It can be tough, your breathing starts to get rapid, your heart rate jumps. But if you can just maintain some easy rowing in this recovery minute, I think you'll be pretty happy with how it goes. Getting ready to go again in 10 seconds. Let's settle in, try to get exactly what you had last time or exactly what your target is.
49.1 again. Hey, at least I'm consistent there. <laughs> now, we're two rounds into this. 13 left. No big deal. <laughs> but hey, there's a real purpose to why you want to focus on consistency. Number one, it's a great learning workout. It teaches you how do you moderate your effort when you're tired, when you're fresh. But two, it helps you understand. It brings a greater life lesson. You came here with an intent today. You came here for a reason. Why? Yeah, to work out. Okay, great. But there's something deeper under there. Ask yourself, so that you came out to, you came to work out. Great. So that what? So that you could do what with your fitness? I want you to plant that seed in your brain on this next work piece here in two, one, go. Here we go. Right on that point one. Apparently that's my magic number today. So what'd you discover? So that what? You came to row today so that you can feel better. So that you can start a new journey of fitness. So that you can Enjoy the drink you're gonna have tonight. What is it? And I want you to now take that idea. All right, that first, so that. And on this next piece, you're gonna ask yourself that same question, but again, so that you can have that drink. So that what? What about it? What about that is important to you? Keep digging. Don't let it go. Here we go, turning it on. Next round. I guess point one is it. That's what I'm shooting for today. 275 meters every round. So what did you discover? Maybe it was so that you can start to create a new habit of working out. Great, so that what? So that maybe you can set a good example for your kids. Maybe so that you can start to Start a journey of weight loss so that you can train for an event. What is it? And I bet you can guess what I'm gonna ask you next. One more time, so that. So that what? To set a good example for your kids. So that what? So that they can answer for yourself. Keep digging, let's find out. Three, two, one, let's go.
<laughs> Got it again. Ooh. So what'd you learn? What'd you arrive at? Are you finding happiness in your life? Maybe you're trying to find a new beginning. Maybe you're trying to find consistency inside your life, whatever it is. You keep it to yourself, there's no need to share it. But it's important that we do that digging. What I love about rowing is it gives us that chance to contemplate. We spend so much time with ourselves and this machine, and it's not about anybody else. It's about you. It's about how you stack up against yourself, whether or not you show up every day. Be responsible for your own life. That is what being a dark horse is all about, going into one and go. So gravy. That's six done. Six done. <laughs> I think I counted wrong last time. Hey, we're more than a third finish. So, the point being, there's a lot that we have to discover in rowing. And that's why you build the life that you want to live but rowing is just the vehicle we use to help you get there. It's because while you may have bought this machine, just you heard rowing was good or you saw the hype about it, so you decided to buy a machine, whatever it may be, you probably didn't know a whole lot about it. But here we are, life lessons. It goes a long way. You learn a lot about yourself, but more so, you're becoming a dark horse more than the rowing. Here we go, picking it up in three, two, one. Let's go. Right. One more and we're past halfway. Hey, we're on it. Now listen, now's the time when you really commit. You might be thinking, ooh, I just wanna let go. I wanna let go. Maybe you pick too fast a pace. Maybe you pick too easy a pace. It's all okay. Whether you're gonna have to work hard through the second half, whether you're right where you're supposed to be, or if you want to put more in but you already committed, it's okay. You're moving, you're showing up. It's the symbol, it's the act of being here that matters so much more than what your scores say. So come get ready to join me. Put some concentrated effort into this. Three, two, 
One, let's go. Okay, we're eight done. Only seven left. Make sure right now in your rest period, you're really chilling yourself out. Focus on your exhale. Oh, my shorts are really riding up on this one. <laughs> Welcome to some leg in this workout. But you weren't expecting that when you came, huh? Really focus on your exhale. It's one of the Hardest pieces to maintain focus on. Think about exhaling, your body's so good at inhaling. We gasp really well. But exhaling, all your air out, what that does is it pushes out all the used oxygen, brings in the fresh stuff. Hyper oxygenates that body from what you might be thinking. So on this one, focus on the exhales. Three, two, one, let's go. The next five strokes or five breaths to exhale fully. Okay, now back to your regularly scheduled breathing. And what you're going to find right now the rush of energy. You're gonna feel, oh, that's what fresh oxygen feels like. You gotta know that whenever you're panting in a workout, if you can regain control of that exhale, you give yourself fresh life. Okay, going in five, three, two, one, let's go.
rest. 10 down, five left. How is your consistency? Are you getting better, worse? Do a check-in. Is your performance climbing, dropping? Or are you doing exactly the thing you're supposed to do? Just riding that consistency across. Think of it almost as just a non-stop 30 minute workout where you just set the pace and go. Forget about it. We just happen to give you some rest in here, which is a beautiful thing. I did a power hour the other day. For an hour straight, I was miserable. It's been too long since I've done that. 10 seconds. Let's have some fun. Let's find our legs. Let's find consistency. Three, two, one. Let's go. getting close to the finish. Here's where you let your mind really get involved. It's been so physical up to this point. A lot of mind-body connection. Maybe frustrated, you're like, oh, just why well, won't it happen? But here's the deal. It's all about being able to bring your brain, bring your mind, your heart, your soul, back to the moment. You're here, block out everything else around you for the final bit of this piece. Maybe your kids are running around screaming. Maybe you got the phone ring, alerts popping up. Don't worry about it. Let's finish strong together. Going in five, three, two, one, let's go. down, three to go. Really hone it in together here. I said get your mind involved, block out the distractions. It's just you and me right now. See if you can truly lock your eyes on my body moving. Lock your ears onto what I'm saying or the sound of my machine or the sound of yours. Think about increasing your sensation, not your stimulation. Try to feel every part of this next minute. We can do this together. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go.
leg number 13. Coming up on 14 here. We're in it together. Hey, every day is a new opportunity to start fresh. Every habit, every decision starts over with the very next one. You wanna break a habit? Just do your best to make a different decision next time. And every time is a new opportunity to start over. Just remember that. That's what the beauty of these consistencies are about. You have forgiveness every time you get to start fresh. Rehash it. Okay, here we go. 14, coming up. Three, two, one. Let's go. This is our last one coming up. And you've been so good hanging out, trying to be consistent. And I so appreciate you for it. So guess what? We're gonna take the reins off on this last one. We're gonna have some fun here. Round 15, no holds barred. You wanna empty the tanks? Let's do it together. Try to take that stroke rate way up. Push through. How much can you squeeze out of your legs? on this absolute last piece. The goal on the stroke rate, 30 plus. Let's see if we can do it together. <sighs> nice part is we've been consistent at 26, so taking up a few beats shouldn't be the end of the world. <sighs> 10 seconds before we just let loose. One minute to have fun. Unleash it all, let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. And that's it, that's it for the day. But we're not done, no, no. If you've been here before, you know this is when we focus on our mechanics. No effort, breathe easy. This is when we become dark horses. When everyone else thinks, oh, it's all over. I get to go home. Nay, I tell you, nay. We instead stay. We do the extra work no one else does. That's how you make the progress. It doesn't have to be hard work. Is this hard? No. It's just focused. Ooh, feels good. I want you to take that message right now. Breathe it deep down in. I am a dark horse. I can change 
whatever I want to change. It's all up to me. I just lay my path. It's not up to anybody else. I focus on my day-to-day -day process and it brings me close to the outcomes that I hope for. But it's up to nobody but me. Hey, while we're in this final 30 second spin, you better be signed up for November at this point. If you didn't feel that one deep in your soul, ooh, you're missing out. So click that link in the description below. Come sign up for November. Be one of the thousands that are joining us for the fourth annual. It's totally free. It's just an email. We'll send you a workout every single day. About this length, maybe a little shorter, maybe a little longer. Just for something to keep you going. I got you. Always striving to be better for you every day. See you in the next one.